All right, we've got a Dell Vostro 1500. I'm gonna replace the upper stick of RAM in it. It's actually under the keyboard right here. Um, the lower stick, pardon my dirty laptop, is under here. And it's super easy to get to. I took my battery out already. Do you wanna do that? Unplug it and all that stuff. Um, this is an M, not a W. Turn it upside down. Uh, under here is the lower stick of RAM. And all you have to do is take out one screw, pull that panel off, pop the stick out, put your new one in. It's all good. Upper stick. You need to take this panel off first. Um, so we'll do that with just a small flathead screwdriver. Pop it out. See it pops up. Um, oh, quick note. Make sure your monitor is all the way flat, as flat as it'll go without breaking it. Um, and then you want to kind of pull this up gradually. And finally, if I can do it right with one hand, you can kind of, once you get it loose, you want to pull it off kind of as vertical as possible without tilting it. And it should do that. Don't be too afraid to put a little bit of force on it. It's not going to break if you breathe on it, so just give it a good firm pull. <laughs> if you break it, I'm sorry. There's two screws to hold the keyboard in, one here and one here. I've already taken them out. Um, the keyboard's kind of the same as the top here. Don't be too afraid to put a little force on it. Don't grab it by the keys like I just did there. Grab it by the bracket, the whole thing, and just kind of pop it out. Don't be too afraid to get a little force on there. It's just kind of clipped in. The bottom's got these clips across the bottom, but those just slide out. But don't rip it, because there's a ribbon cable here. Just don't want to break that. Um, and then you want to lift this blue clasp lock up like that. You can do it with your finger now. I just did it with the screwdriver so you can see it easier. Easily -er. Pull the ribbon cable out. And now you're at this spot. It says DIM A. So, dual inline memory module A. I guess B is the bottom one. And this has one clip on the top, like that. Once again, you can do it with your finger easily, but I did it with the screwdriver for no reason. And then under that is our stick of RAM. And you just need to, like the bottom side, peel these little clips out. There's one. I'll do the other one with my other hand. And this one too, like that. So one, two, get both sides and your stick of RAM. If you have three hands, you can do this really easily. Pull it right out. DDR2 only. Okay, and then when you want to get your new stick in, it's the exact reverse. I probably can't do this with one hand holding a camera. Ooh, it's getting stuck. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's all good. Okay. You stick the stick into the slot down in there, you just can't, probably can't see that. And once it's nice and all the way in there, just push her down. Probably use two fingers. Boom. Done. Kind of make sure it's nice and seated correctly, not going to fall out. This is a little tricky. And my memory card ran out. So, part two. Okay. We're still here. we got this little black plastic thing here covering the dim slot and memory. Um, it has two tabs on the bottom, a small one and a long one, and corresponding groove or holes or whatever. Right yeah, and right yeah. So we just need to stick those plastic things into their grooves or their holes. The ribbon cable is probably going to give you a little trouble, the one that's still there. And then pop that little clip in. You're all done. Uh, make sure this lock is all the way up. That's locked. This is unlocked. We're going to stick the keyboard in now. Um, don't stick it in all the way because we still need to get the ribbon cable in there, which is going to fold under, so it's going to be, again, hard with one hand. So pull the ribbon cable out like that, and you just want to slide it kind of in the middle of that plastic thing. I can't do it with one hand while holding a camera. There we go. I did it. Wait. Oh, yeah. There we go. Awesome. Locked. All done. So you see the uh, the blue part of the ribbon cable kind of lines up with your uh, 
white plastic socket, ZIF socket. Um, and then on the bottom of the keyboard, we've got those clips again. You just want to slide it in like that. Let it fall. Probably not let it fall like that, but set it down gently. And then just kind of remember those clips that we undid earlier. They're a lot easier to put back in. So now we've got it all the way in there, nice and flush. And then you want to put your two screws back in here and here. And the last part, remember this thing from the beginning? It's got two clips on the left side and nothing on the right side. So we want to put those left side clips whoop, in there first. Like that. Set it all the way down. It's going to be easy to put this part down. And then these back hinge covers, you're going to want to kind of pop in place. Make sure it's nice and solid. Before you put everything away, test your power button. Make sure it's nice and clicky. If you use this button, I don't. Try it out too. And you're done. Enjoy your new RAM.